morning. Um, just letting you a little update. Yeah, a little look around here. I know we replaced the dashboard. I'm doing it again, and it kind of highlights uh, a major issue that you don't really ever hear about. So yeah, it raises an issue that most car rebuilding YouTubers don't really talk about, and that is. If you take something apart, does it go back together the same as it did when it came from the factory? And I think that's probably the biggest concern people have whenever anything needs doing, whenever a car gets a crash, whatever it is, people think once it's come apart, it's not gone back together again. So just a little backstory. I mean, when I was younger, much younger than I am now, uh, one of my first jobs was testing and evaluating household goods. So I would take apart uh, electrical, small electrical items, test them, we'd have to put all various probes on them, put them back together, run them, test them in many many ways. So I'm quite experienced at taking things apart. So, whilst that looks like um, something people would never want to ever attempt in their life, um, I've done it again <laughs> and it only took me about two hours yesterday to get to this point um, for a couple of reasons. It is, it's, it's pretty major job to be doing for no reason, seeing as the dashboard I put in a year ago was working fine. There wasn't any major, major, major deals. Except, well, okay, so there was, there was, a, there was four things. Okay, let's go through them. And another one that I've come across since taking the dashboard out, and that is, if you look here, you see all this glass. Yeah, I spent a long time cleaning out the glass after the dip, the after the new windscreen was fitted but even still there's no way you can get all the glass out there's even bits down in the heater matrix there you cannot get it out so if you're ever changing a very broken windscreen and a dashboard make sure you 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 get the windscreen done before the dashboard or during because the glass got it it, it was months of finding bits of glass so here's the dashboards this is the one I fitted a year ago. This is the one I'm about to fit. And I'll show you what, why. Now, unfortunately, we seem to be having... Uh, uh, I think the neighbor's moved, uh, taking some scaffolding down. You have to bear with it. So here we are. You see here, see these little bits here? That bit there needed sticking down. This bit here was a lot of tears in the leather. And it got worse because over here we had same sort of deal there, and and then here there was really wasn't much I could do about it. And unfortunately, I bought the dashboard sight unseen, and I paid cash for it, so I didn't really have any way of uh, a comeback when it turned up with all this damage on it. Obviously, I was a bit upset about it, but I was in a I was so keen to get started with the project, that I kind of glossed over it, and I thought there's probably something I could do about fixing it after it was in the car. And a part of, my, part of me just thought, oh, it's over there, you won't see it. <laughs> yeah, not true, your eyesight is right there. It's exactly what, it, did. it was just it was just glaringly obvious when I finished the car, I just thought, God, it looks horrible. Um, what am I gonna do about it? And what, what you see here is, is what I did about it, and that was I sanded it down and put some um, leather filler on it, and, and then I used some leather paint. It doesn't, doesn't look perfect. I was going to do it again until I just decided that's it. The dashboard has come out. As the dash came out, there was these two little sort of round um, foam pads sort of fell from this area. There was nothing from that area. It was just there. There was no obvious place where it came from. And I think I'll, I'll, I'll put up a clip of my video. You can see it fell and it landed here. This stuff. Now, when I put the, the new dashboard in, then there was one other issue, and it's quite hard to see. But one thing I noticed was this dashboard here came from a 2013, and mine's a 2017. This new dashboard has come from a 2018, 19, so it should be the same. But you can't really feel texture on camera, but yeah, it just feels a little bit different versus this one. And it's like there's a slightly different shade to it. Wasn't really noticeable. It was enough to make me think I'd rather have a new one. So yeah, all that work. All that work, some people would say was unnecessary. 
but to someone who's been taking things apart my entire life and put them back together again let's just hope we can get it back in in a couple of hours i guess making a video is going to slow things down oh and there was one other thing uh, i'll just hint at it here we'll put an upgrade for this so that might come in a separate video so the answer is yes if you take something apart it will go back together again exactly how it was from factory don't worry about that but only with the caveat that the person who takes it apart pays attention to how it goes back together and then when they put it back together they make sure everything's fine and are not afraid of taking it all apart again because how much time and energy do people really have for this i mean if you're buying a car that's been crashed and someone's trying to profit from to get back on the road chances are they, they might just say oh what's a little creek you know and that's fine maybe in the in the cheaper cars but if you're buying an expensive car or a premium car a luxury car it's perceived luxury is based on the fact that it's very plush quiet doesn't have random squeaks rattles clanks clacks whatever you want to call it but so I'll just put the dashboard in now and this side it just seems to fit really well on these sort of mountain points that you see around where it actually bolts to the frame it fits very well um, but that side well, I've added a bit of extra sound deadening I'm not confident the main part I've added the sound deadening to you can see right there it's quite thick so it might be causing a protrusion but that I think would be the only area they would have put one of these pads it does seem very difficult to figure out you can see what I've done a little bit of sound deadening stopping any creaking noises should add to the uh, quietness in the cabin too we'll keep fighting with it just when I thought we were putting dashboard in the last time came across a slight problem seems the dismantlers aren't always as careful you see that there I wouldn't have known but they've broken the glove box switch and with all the dashboard in it was really hard to get it back off look okay, i got one from the other dashboard but if i'd known that beforehand it would have saved me a lot of time so the last few steps here have just been pure faff um i had absolute nightmare with the button for that because it would have been it would have been really quick if i'd done that before the dashboard was in but by the time i bolted up oh uh, connected the airbag clips it was a lot of work to either take the dashboard back out or do it in situ i tried to do it in situ and it just tired me out and that's one thing with doing a job like this when you start getting tired things take a lot longer than they should do like i said two hours to get it out i'm probably about an hour hour and a half into it and all i've got to this so i'm gonna go for lunch now but i've got the speaker in i've got the wiring rooted right that's the main thing before you bolt in the major bolts for the dashboard, which are all done now. You have to be certain of the wire routing. Making some really good progress now. Um, I appreciate this would be a better video if I did a time lapse or a GoPro style. Um, but this is what we got for now. Just make sure it's more important. I'll tell you what's more important: driving cars, not fixing them or making videos. <laughs> for me, anyway. So this back, M piece is back, lower piece back that one was back and the last time i did this do you remember i said i didn't know where the bolts came from i found where the bolts came from <laughs> there was one hiding behind there i didn't see um and I'd, most of them came from here but uh, yeah that's done now under there all around that that piece looks a lot better and this piece here can be time consuming i might re-watch my old video figure out exactly which order they go back together but yeah just putting this back in now mm, there's not too many screws left should be another i don't know hour tops which is i'm clipping in the last few parts would have been a bit more a bit more satisfying if i'd shown you all the clip in but that just pushes in these were bolting under there bolting in there the clock spring made sure not to turn that while it was off and we're just going to do this bit here which was rather annoying last time and then i'll show you something special that i'm going to do here so this is going to have to come apart again and uh, i'll leave a little hint on what the next video will be so, so this bit here is a bit satisfying now this piece has a couple of connections 
to the back and it just pushes down and clips into place. And this piece clips on here, just like that. And this piece, piece clips on there like that. And up there, tap, 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 and it's all together. Just a little tip, if your tools have lost their magnetism and they're not holding a screw properly, get a strong magnet. I got this one, which is a, a bike tool and just attach it to that for a second. So there, and then when I want to put the screws into the hole, it'll go in. Another trick I use to get screws into deep holes that you can't see very well is to get the strong magnet, put the screw on the end, and then sink it into the hole. And then if you just turn it, the screw should be in place, and the magnet comes out. Then, you can easily... And the final piece of this job is to fit in the steering wheel. And there's a slight clue as to what my next video is going to be. And let's just say my car didn't have that button before or that button oh yeah everything's working first time uh, one thing i was concerned about was this being not the original steering wheel was that these buttons would work i heard some people had to swap those over um appeared to be working so we can push that back in and um revel in the glory of completing a big job in a fairly short space of time without any major mishaps uh, there we are tune in for another video